This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you hit that bell and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to run ads on the channel, hit me up at Jordan Tower Media at gmail.com. Okay, we got Cardi B again. <laughs> She's in the news again. She stays in the news right now. They're really milking this whole... I mean, Cardi B was already getting a lot of attention because she had that number one single with Bodak Yellow. And now she has that new single out with Migos Motorsport. And coincidentally, they break up the weekend right before... The single comes out, and uh, then they get engaged the same week. Typical PR move to keep the interest, and when you keep the interest, you get more people listening to the music. Well, Cardi B put up another post saying, There's no way I would still be going to Vanity tonight to see you. I'm sorry, impossible. Uh, Chalked a ring this big. Baby, I'm going right home and screwing my dude up out his haircut. Are you kidding me? Get in the back of the tour bus and knock the dreads off that dude. Busted it down for the rest of the weekend. See us on Halloween, and it truly is a scary sight, because neither one of us have come out for sunlight in days. I'm getting you pregnant, boy. That's pretty funny. She's trying to get uh, Offset pregnant. Um, now, it's funny because this, I, I've seen so many interviews with Cardi B where she said she doesn't even like sex like that, so I don't know about that. But anyways... You know, Cardi B's staying in the news right now. Yeah, they have the new single Motorsport out, and this is what, you know, PR companies do that are hired by labels. You know, they come up with gimmicks. You have to have a gimmick now to go with everything. Just like last year, the game just started beefing with Meek Mill to sell his 1992 album. I mean, it's just like you either start a beef or you surround it with a romance or something like that. But, you know, it's all good. And then 50 Cent reacted. He said, this is hip-hop. Uh, Offset's baby mother reacted and said she's not bitter and ho uh, hopefully her and Offset's kid get to meet the stepmother one day and get invited to the wedding. And also BT and Mona Scott are feuding over who is going to do the wedding special. That's the new thing ever since you've seen uh, – I mean other people have been married on TV before, but uh, – when Gucci Man and Keisha Kaur did it with BET, they obviously paid a lot of money. They paid for the wedding. It's a little come up real quick, you know? Um, you know, so marriage is kind of like a goof now because you use it to get married. But you know what? I would have done the same thing in their situation. Let's be honest. I'm not trying to hate. Uh, if I were in their situation, you're dating, you're a celebrity couple. Um, first of all, a celebrity couple, it's hard to make that last period, you know, two celebrities. And... Uh, why not capitalize off it while you're doing it? You know, like people like to write about it. People like to talk about it like I'm doing right now. So why not capitalize off of it? Um, what else is going on with this? I mean, you know, we'll have to see how this develops. Uh, I know that Tommy G's, her ex-boyfriend's out of jail as of like, what, two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. So, you know, we'll have to see what he has to say. Uh, he's probably going to go try to get his girl back. I know they broke up while he was in jail. But uh, he'll, he's going to try to get it back. And think about it. They only broke up a few months ago. Offset and Cardi B have only been dating for, what, f four or five months? I know it seems longer because, like, we get news so fast that just things just go fast. But uh, it hasn't been that long. So we'll have to see, man. But I appreciate you guys. I'll check you guys on s some more interesting stories later. I'm just reporting this right now. Um, you hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button if you want to advertise on the channel. Hit me up at Jordan Tower Media at Gmail. Dot com. I appreciate you guys.